I am not superstitious, but I'm about to test 10 good luck charms to see if they make any difference at an official cubing competition. Starting with fluffy dice. <laughs> That's mid-range average. Yep. Not as good. So fluffy dice were actually used by fighter pilots. They would hang it above the instruments before important missions. You learn something every day. Oh gosh. Fluffy dice. It is rough being Felix. Okay, so that we can compare our lucky charms, we're gonna go two points if it's a green above average solve, one point if it's an orange average solve, and zero if it's a red below average solve. And so Fluffy Dice is a grand total of two points. Surely that will not be hard to beat. Oh, and if you're wondering, I'm in Adelaide, South Australia. I flew down here yesterday, did a bit of sightseeing, but I'm here today to compete. Although if you've never been to a WCA competition before, these events are a little bit more about getting times officially recorded and not about being the best, unless you're Felix, and really about meeting new people and having fun. So the question now is what lucky charm will Ting Man test next? Maybe he'll test uh, the four leaf clover. Or maybe he should test a horseshoe. We know those always bring good luck. Well, how about a four leaf clover in a horseshoe? Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? This is pure good luck and it cannot fail me. Two by two, here we go. Daily puzzles represent. How's it going? Woo! Take that. <laughs> did I beat Ola? Did I beat my daughter? Yes! I beat Ola. That's the luck of the Irish for ya. Nice. Hey, hey, how good was that? The irony, of course, is that I'm like a man of science, and so it really pains me to be testing superstitions because I actually don't believe in any of them at all. But I mean, that was some pretty good 2 by 2 times for me. Oh man, how crazy would it be if I found a gold leaf clover right now? Actually, here's a fun science fact for you. Apparently, a Swiss study calculated that the odds of finding a four-leaf clover in nature is about 1 in 5,000. So, genetics. So, that's six points for the four-leaf clover horseshoe, bringing it to the top of the leaderboard, but we still have eight more good luck charms to test. So, we all know there's a lot of luck with brand new things, like a new house, a new car, a new job. So, Pyraminx is next, and my strategy is I'm going to solve it with a brand new unopened cube. Do you think it's going to work? Felix says it should be a Gan Pyraminx, and he's probably right. Yeah, this is probably my worst idea ever, but you know, it could work, we'll see. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I literally have not touched that at all. I'm about to touch this Pyraminx for the first time ever. Ah. <laughs> what is this cube? This feels so weird. So far I'm feeling like it's a good idea to actually try your cube out before you solve with it in combat. Yeah. First time using a maglev pyramid. Oops. Oh, I sort of messed that one. Probably not my greatest idea. Do you have any tips for how I can increase my luck in solves? Get lucky scrambles. And have the brain of Felix Zendogs. <laughs> That's only possible if you're Felix Zendogs. The power of the new cube is wearing off. Way too much celebration for a trash doll. That's not true, that is not true. That is. <laughs> it's a helicopter. They're like propellers. That was terrible. Absolutely uncategorically terrible. There is zero good luck to be had with the new cube. And I know what some of you are going to say. You're going to be like, Oh, what if the new cube was like a man? Was it some like random thing you've never tried before? Don't use that logic on me. I'm sticking to my flawed testing because I can. But here is something that will not fail. Oranges. Okay, not like eating oranges, but according to Chinese, these oranges represent gold, wealth. And if that's not enough, huh? Huh? Right? This is a Chinese good luck coin charm. Gold coins, of course, represent wealth and abundance. They they increase qi. So 4x4 is next, and there is literally no way I can fail with this combination. That didn't really work. Obviously, Maybe. I put this in the wrong place. <laughs> this needs to go right in the middle. There's no parody on that one, so that was pretty lucky. It's reposition. There we go. Parodies are just there to ruin every soul. I don't think oranges work as good luck. Sometimes the powers of feng shui are just not enough. Oh, uh, I really want it to work. But that's okay, that's okay, because I have a really good feeling about the next one, and it is... 
<laughs> my daughter's signature cat Vinny. I brought it to Adelaide without telling Olo. So Olo, if you're watching this now, uh, thanks. Let's see if the power of the cat beanie is gonna give me good solves for the seven by seven. Three reasons why you should shop at Daily Puzzles. Firstly, they are legitimately a great cube store. Quality of products, service, range, shipping, they are great. Reason number two, using code TINGMAN at the checkout will give you a discount off every single order. Daily Puzzles honestly supports me and this channel so much, they make me going to events like this possible. And so when you support them, you're actually supporting me, which I really appreciate. And reason number three to shop at Daily Puzzles is this shirt is legitimately very comfortable. Like, I'm not just saying that, it's actually really great, so yeah. I need to put this on, full all our cat mode activated. Eight seconds. Nice. What? You, you did it? What did you get? How is that even possible? That is the power of the cat. <gasps> 12 seconds. That was my best time, like, ever. Like, even at home. That is insane. It's what is happening right now? That's, like, by far my best time ever. That's much closer to what I normally average. Greatest thing about comps is sitting next to this guy. The shirt really should say senior delegate. <laughs> On my way back to the comp, it is a beautiful morning to continue testing good luck charms. Yesterday we've tested fluffy dice, Chinese gold coins, oranges, using a brand new cube, but in the lead was Olo's cat beanie followed closely by the four leaf clover in a horseshoe necklace. There are plenty more to test today. Oh, hello ducks. Including this beautiful guy right here. So let's get right into it. You know how unicorns are magical creatures? <laughs> there is literally no way that I can do badly now. That was an extremely good luck just yet, but I think the unicorn power is warming up. It's getting there. I think maybe if I, if I point the horn this way. <laughs> I'm starting to think that this not, unicorn power right. isn't actually that effective. What's your good luck charm? Eat me fast food, like the fourth position. There's some pro cubing <laughs> tips right there. <laughs> That's hey. a sub 10 there. Hey, there we go. I think no. we've got a strong conclusion on the unicorn power. Probably it doesn't work. <laughs> Five points for the unicorn. Good, but not great. What's coming up next is very exciting though. Because not only is it one-handed, but also because the lucky charm we're testing is this. Jade, a precious gemstone that of course is a very strong symbol of good luck. So yeah, let's see what happens. I was very close though, but I got two good sales out of that. Guys, wisdom means taking other people's advice and getting the speed cubing food of champions. Good luck right in there. Yeah. You can feel the cubing power just coursing through your veins. I just remember that my first meal ever during a Cuban comp was McDonald's too. It's the circle of life, guys. Daily Puzzles has given me some hats to give out, but I'm gonna let luck decide whether or not people get it in the form of the Magic 8-Ball. Would you like a Daily Puzzles hat? Yes, please. We'll see what the Magic 8-Ball decides. All right. Should I give Michael a free hat? My sources says no. Sorry, mate. Oh. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. It's, it's not me. It's, <laughs> it's the ball. Do you want a Daily Puzzles hat? Yes. Should I give Charlie a Daily Puzzles hat? <laughs> Cannot predict now. Sorry, I'll have to come back to you. Oh. Should I give him a Daily Puzzles hat? You may rely on it. There you go. Subscribe to Tingman, always your main. Should I give this guy a Daily Puzzles hat? Signs point to yes. Thank you. Okay, second chance. Do you get a Daily Puzzles hat? It is certain. Yeah. There you go. Very Thank nice. Yeah. yeah, nice. You ready for our secret weapon? Yeah, let's see the secret weapon. <laughs> Oh, you have to throw a salt like over your shoulder. Some people think it's because it's like that's where the devil is on your left sho shoulder. And then you have to hit it. For some reason, the devil is scared of salt. How do you even yep. do it? It's like. Right. You ready? Oh, yeah, you have to do that. That's not bad, too, actually. Double this time. Yeah. 
Mixed feelings about salt, guys. I had three great solves, but two really not good solves. And then also that plus two. That gives salt six points, which puts it on par in second place with the Clover Horseshoe Necklace. But all those cat beanies are still on top. There's still more to go. I'm going to find out for you what's the best way to get good luck on your solve. So make sure you watch to the end. Actually, the scientist in me is also thinking I really should have a control. I mean, not that this has been a fair test at all, but next event, Mega Minx. We're going to go with no lucky charms and see what happens. Yeah. I just got a fortune cookie, so let's see what good luck it has to bring me. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, I better lock my door. <laughs> For my next good luck charm, karma. Doing a good deed. I'm gonna do a good deed before each of my three blind solves, and yeah, we'll see. Would you like a free cube? Yes, please. Thank you. Would you like a free cube? I would. There you go. Use it well. I'm totally not giving it to you for good karma. <laughs> Well, not quite the results I was after, but I did get one success and I'm happy with that. Ah, uh, karma, karma. Here's a fun fact for you. A lot of studies have actually suggested that belief in karma, like a good deed will reap another good deed, is such a universal human belief, like all throughout history. And I just want to kindly say that if you don't believe in a higher power, karma really doesn't make any sense at all. Like, why should the universe pay you back good for good? If, I mean, what even is good and evil if there isn't, like, any standards outside of us to rank them against? But if you do believe in karma, as I find myself sometimes subconsciously doing good in the hope that good will come to you, if bad things are happening to someone, sort of in the back of your mind wondering maybe that person deserved it, it is such an unfortunate and I think unhelpful way of viewing the world. And here's my two cents, right? This is what Ting Lan thinks. Take it with a pinch of salt thrown over the left shoulder. But being a Christian has shown me that there's something so much better than karma. Jesus loved me before I loved him. And so because of that, I can now love other people before they love me, you know, and not need anything back in return. It's a big reason why I have this channel and make positive videos. It's a big reason why I have hope for the future. And yeah, just throwing it out there for you. And here she is, possibly the most beautiful lucky charm of all, the orchid. In all my research, this kept coming up over and over on the internet. The orchid is an extremely lucky plant. There's all this advice on like where you should put it in your house, what color you should use. I just think they look beautiful. They're also the national flower of Singapore, so that's pretty cool. And if you're wondering, yes, it's a 100% real orchid plant that I bought here in Adelaide that I'm probably gonna have to give away before I fly back, but not before it gives me the power that I need because three by three, round two is next, and I really hope to do well. Here here we go. That's a nice salt. Do you think the open made a difference? Yeah. yeah. What a competition. <laughs> but guys, we have a winner. Results are in and there is actually a good luck charm. Something that will improve your souls. And even though I do have to add that there are a couple of disclaimers and there is like zero statistical significance at all to this. The winner is... Olo's Cat Beanie. <laughs> It's proven. It's actually proven now. And the best part is that this is actually like sold out worldwide. No one can actually have this now. Except for Ola or me. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, sometimes the best luck might be the friends you make along the way. Right, guys? I guess. No, no actually, please. if you solve badly, it's not worth it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just solve well. Yeah, solve well and make friends. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Adelaide. Woo! Woo! Yeah! And the fluffy dice didn't help me at all. They don't help you, they help Felix. You're saying that when I wear them, Felix does better? Yeah. Uh, I don't care about Felix, so too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs>